tough has this been for you and for the team? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been tough. What's going through your mind now? What, will you, what and when will you decide if you're going to continue to play or, or not play? What's the decision like now for you and your family? Yeah, I'm going to obviously, um, uh, there's a lot, lots to think about. I'm going to gonna go home soon. Um, yeah, talk to my family and, and uh, but definitely, definitely want to make a decision soon. Is there part of you that wants to come back because of the way it ended or is it just because you had so much fun? What kind of things will you think about? Yeah, yeah I mean, those are the things, like I said, I want to I get away from this because everything's really raw right now uh, and I don't want to make any, um, you know, decisions that uh, I'm going to regret. Um, so yeah, I just I, I just got to get away from from everything and and really c clear my head and uh, think some things over and figure 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 it out. Obviously, you're dealing with something down the stretch. Can you share anything about that and how much did it did it affect you? Yeah, I mean, I I I'm not a guy that I'm gonna say what I had or you know. I wish I was 100% for all seven games. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't that wasn't the issue. So, yeah, but I'm happy I came back for game six, game seven. And, and, uh, yeah. Did your decision to possibly come back completely independent for what Patrice would do, or would in any way you guys consult with one another about the future? Uh, me, me and Bergie. Yeah, your decision to possibly come back, would, is it fair to say it's completely independent to whatever Patrice will do next year? Yeah, 100%, yeah. It's, um, he's got his own uh, stuff he's got to decide. Um, you know, we both have families, um, live at different places. Um, yeah, whatever whatever he wants to do, it's, it's, it's his opinion. It's not going to, it's not going to have any impact on my decision. What's the feeling been like for you just since... Lots of mixed emotions. Um, yeah, you get you get uh, one of the feelings is you know we had a good team and and this one's gonna hurt. Um, I, I have lost some some playoff series before, but this one I would put probably right next to uh, 2019. Um, so this one's gonna hurt. Then you have another thing that could have been my last game. Um, so yeah, there's there's just lots of emotions. Um, yeah, I don't really like to talk about it because we have talked about it with lots of guys in, in the last couple of days, and yeah, it, it gets emotional. And just not ready right now. It's only. 4 p.m. today. So. Is the energy expectations the reason it's painful? Just because everybody in here sort of expected so much more? Is that you know what makes it most difficult? Or it puts it next to two last nights. Or it's just you kind of have that feeling like it might be one of those years. Yeah, I I really thought this was the year. Um, never play on a better team than this. Uh, if you look at the goalies, uh, well, what what a year they had. Best best D's I I, I ever had. Um, I always a good good defenseman, right? But all of them, like all together, like it's yeah, it was insane. And and how deep we were uh, as as a forwards, it showed in the playoffs too, right? I think everybody st stepped in at some point, and that's what you need in the playoffs. Uh, but it just it just ended the way it is. Uh, so yeah. David, are you deciding between? Playing and not playing, or is there a check factor involved for you, possibly as well? No. Now it's either come back or or, or or be done. Yeah, I'm not. If I come back, yeah, it would be NHL. Uh, I, I I did what I did um, last year. Uh, I'm happy I did that. Uh, I have no regrets. Uh, but uh, yeah, I closed the door. Uh, so. I'm gonna make a decision soon. But 
Yeah, would it would be, be it would be NHL. I mean, it would be obviously the, the Bruins, right? Uh, yeah. It's yeah, it's really raw, uh, and those are the qu exact the question that the, they're already going through my head. But those are that, that's what I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try to figure it out next couple of weeks because I don't want to let the team down, uh, and I felt I, maybe I did a little bit in the playoffs. I was supposed to be playing seven games, not not four, and uh, you know that kind of if if you can't help the team, it, it kind of it's it's tough, you know. So yeah. How do you view this season when you look back on the whole thing? How, how do you describe it? What do you take away from it? Um, yeah, great season, tough tough ending, and and it's it's tough to judge it, right? Or get into more details now. It's. It, it still hurts just even talking about it. So, um, yeah, obviously we're you, you're proud. Like 65 wins, that's a lot, right? That's um, we're always gonna be. You know, our name's always gonna be right next to that record. But um, I guess that's just that's the positive we can take out of this. Uh, but yeah, I mean we we were all planning. On playing till May June and, and and we're not so it's it's I don't know if it's disappointing it's just it just really really hurts d differently than other losses. So how challenging was this year just from a personal standpoint? I mean your family's not living here and yeah. away and all that and I'm sure that's going to yeah. be a factor and a consideration of everything too. Like from yeah. a family standpoint, how challenging was it? Like I think it was one of the best years, but also one of the worst years. It was it was a roller coaster. Um, yeah, if if uh, you know, yeah, there was a few times th this year. There was a point that if we were not doing good, you know, I just back it up, you know, go back. But um, so from 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 that stand standpoint, that was that was tough. But then coming here every day. You know, seeing the guys, it's it's just it just made it worth it. Are you so unrivaled and how dominant you are this year? I'm sure you're still trying to process it, but what was different or what was missing in the playoffs? Uh, I wish we would do those uh, interviews a week or two after, because uh, this is still raw. I would definitely have more 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 answers, but but yeah, I, I like I said, I think everybody stepped in at some point, and that's what you need, right? Like. We play a couple of games without without me and Bergie, and and, and and for example, Chuck Chuck Hall and, and Pavel Zaka, Taylor Hall, that's the best I ever see them play. It was it was great to watch. So everybody did their part. Um, we just didn't get it done.